I notice when I'm attached to things and I, and I think that I can control them, that my breath is affected and I start to maybe hyperventilate or have uh, mm -hmm. uh, anxiety attacks. Yes. And even though I know mentally I know that I'm in control of nothing, I still experience the anxiety, I, I believe. Yes. And this is the main point. What we know intellectually and what we experience. Mm -hmm. See, most people have this problem. Intellectually they know so much, mm -hmm. but personal experience is nothing. Does the body take... Um, even though my mind knows something, does the body take more time to learn it than the, than the mind? You know what I mean? Does the body follow the mind with the thought Yes, matter? mind and body closely connected. Right. But mind is subtle is, and it's the cause of the body. So the sanskaras, so just a, thing, okay. a connection of sanskaras, that whatever we think mm -hmm. goes to our mind mm -hmm. and also it filters into the body. So... All the sanskaras are stored in the body. Since so I'm going a little bit sidetrack. Mm -hmm. So any experience you have, traumatic experience, mm -hmm. they say it's stored in the body. Body tissue. But it's uh, but it's uh, re, uh, it's uh, interjected or, or it's coming from the mind first. Exactly. So the sanskara, I gotta get this right. So the sanskara gets triggered and then I'm experiencing it through the body. That's right. Exactly. Okay, so even at that moment, if I'm realizing that uh, I know that this is, a, is this coming from me mentally, it's already been programmed for me to physically react. Right. So that's where the reprogramming gets right. a little then, difficult. Okay, then I will clarify further. Okay. So one thing, like all the traumatic scars are in the body right. they do deep tissue massage called rolfing mm -hmm. and they go through the rolfing just by pushing mm -hmm. all the old emotions come on the surface mm -hmm. like right. even mental images right, right. that shows that body retains and there are so many experiments they show right. you know phantom arm arm is amputated right. but still the sensation remains this is scientific fact okay. coming back to the point how to get rid of sanskaras in the body, that is what is called vipassana. Like mm -hmm. vipassana, like you went to the retreat, mm -hmm. that is vipassana. So I'm just simplifying and I explain the book, just essence of it, not the technique. Mm -hmm. But when you relax thoroughly or meditate, mm -hmm. so you integrate your total being, your body, mm -hmm. senses, mind, emotions, intellect, consciousness, all of them working together. Mm -hmm. When they work together, that means they exchange information from one to another. Oh. I'm just simplifying right. to understand the concept. No, so when you very relax, okay, and you are free from distraction of the world, mm -hmm. generally, if you're not relaxed, you cannot get connected with yourself. You know, all this cannot be integrated because you are reacting. You see something, you hear something, you know, think something. Mm -hmm. So all our energy goes in fighting the stimulation. But when you are meditating, you remove outside distraction. Mm -hmm. Then you are in tune with yourself. That means all your faculties, free from the world, body, energy or senses, mm -hmm. mind, emotions, intellect, consciousness, everything is integrated. And the highest part is unconscious mind, which is called chitta, mm -hmm. and all the stored sanskaras are there. So when you relax, what happens? Naturally, all the sanskaras are trying to come down, and they come out. So it comes in the mind, in the form of images, like people see mm -hmm. different images, and they go, some of the memory of the past comes on the surface. Mm -hmm. Also, at the ultimate level, it comes to the body, because ultimate manufactured is the body. All the things ultimately comes from unconscious mind to the mind, to the body. So ultimately, everything is stored in the body. So Vipassana technique is you sit, travel through the body, and feel the sensations. So the sensation you feel like here, you know, just mm -hmm. take a half an hour to 
scan the body. Mm -hmm. So when you are here, you feel the sensation. Heat, cold, expansion, contraction, whatever you feel, mm -hmm. that is sanskara living. But if you don't know about it, you know, you are not aware of it, you just something itches and you scratch, you don't so remove so the sanskara. sanskara is leaving, leaving. Living, dissipating. Okay. So just like, uh, you know, bubbles, I put, explain the book. Right. Like air is trapped under water. Right. And then the bubbles comes bubbles. in the bubbles and the operate. So it goes out. And ultimate cons constitution we have is five elements. Earth, water, fire, air, and space. Mm -hmm. That very, very subtle elements. It's not like a, it's a mi microscopic level. Mm -hmm. So we are ultimately made of five elements. So we release the saskar through five elements and through the mind. Where does the heart come into the water picture? The physical heart doesn't come in the picture. They call spiritual heart in the middle of the chest. Okay. And heart is associated with feeling, emotion, devotion. So heart center, anath chakra, is in the middle of chest, not on the left side. Mm -hmm. So overall, sanskaras are removed. Okay. So though we know it, mm -hmm. until we remove the sanskaras, we are puppets. We think we are controlling, just like control any discipline. Right. No matter how much you control, you give up after a while. And the surrender, the, like surrender mantra we do, mm -hmm. is the highest climax because you let go, like a higher power takes over. I am only instrument. Mm. Even if we say that and do that, still we have subtle control mm -hmm. that we let go. Then comes total relaxation. Mm. So this is why sanskaras control and then you get agitated mm -hmm. because everything is interconnected. So at that time, in a capsule form, I just brought the concept mm -hmm. to make it clear. Thank you.